That is the first time I've used this to do this, so... Oh, yeah, it's fine. Hopefully it'll tell us if we're alive. <laughs> <laughs> I do have something pulled out. We can double-check ourselves. But... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh, we're live. Here we go. Let's give it a second. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome to Bourbon Bites. I am Clifton. I'm Brandon. And <laughs> that sounds <laughs> weird, but <laughs> yeah. So I had to. It's been a long time since I've had you over. Yeah. Um, we've been saving this flight for next time he was over. It's been sitting on my shelf, and I've been staring at it, and I so wanted to drink it like several days. Um, so yeah. So what do we have here tonight, Brandon? Well, we've got three samples. I believe they're from Richie, Richie Gabriel. Gabriel, shout yes. out, buddy. Yeah. So, I'm not sure if he's able to make it. I sent him the link earlier, but he can watch the replay. Yeah. But so we got Booker's Rye. Yes. Well, that's the that's the final one. That's Big the final surprise. one. This yeah. isn't any particular order. So, <laughs> and then we've also got the Booker's Thirtieth, like you saw in the thumbnail. Yes. I can read that. And then last but not least, of course, is the Booker's Twenty Fifth Anniversary. Yes. So, so I, I I've had two of these so far. Now not from the samples. I've had them before. Um, I had the Booker's Rye and the Booker's 30th. Um, it's been a really long time and I was really not worthy of having them because I was really, <laughs> I was just getting started into bourbon. Yeah. So I want to revisit them um, knowing what I know now. Um, and again, huge shout out to Richie. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very much, for my man. Appreciate it. So um, yeah, but before we do that, um, first of all, what are you, I know it's early, well, it's actually not early for you guys. It's actually guys. not really most of us. You guys are like, it's like 6 a.m. <laughs> but what are you guys drinking or what are you planning on drinking? Um, the reason we're so early today is because, um, ADHD Whiskey is having his big Beagle Rare, um, live stream. Um, so make sure you guys go check that out after this. Um, I think it starts at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, so giving ourselves about an hour here and then, um, we might do a quick little after party thing if, for, if you are a patron. Um, by the way, um, if I just launched my Patreon recently, um, so if you would like to be a supporter of the show, got a r lot of really cool perks with that. Um, does the ten dollar level a month gets you access to an after party um, Google Hangout after our stream? Those are always we had so much fun on Thursday with it. Um, but if you can't do ten dollars, there's other tiers too. But um, if you guys feel like supporting the show and want to hang out with us after the show, um, go Come check it, go check it out. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, so Brandon gave me a blind sample. I know nothing about it other than it's a bourbon. So, um, is there, is there anything you want to tell us, Brandon, before we get into this? It is going to be a store pick. Okay. And the only thing I can tell you is the proof is 125. Ooh, okay. Well, so start, it's a little high, off, but that's why I said start, yeah, starting off pretty good. And it is a bourbon. It's not a blend. And that's pretty much it. So I just want to see what your thoughts are. And then I'll let you know what it is if you'd like. Cool. I'm um, just seeing what people are drinking. Um, Joseph Brazo is doing the beaten ham, which is the beaten biscuits and country ham combo. Mm -hmm. Good choice there. Uh, Steven is cooking dinner. Um, good to see us get together again. Thank you, Steven. Um, I thought you had bottles of those. I, I don't actually have bottles of each of the bookers. No. I wish. <laughs> these, oh, are, these are different bookers. I was actually going to pull these out in a bit. Um, these are mainly just a prop, honestly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how drunk will ADHD be? I, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so Edward Fulmer says the only bookers he's tried is the country ham. Definitely love it. Yeah, that's that's one of the most people's favorites from last year, I think. So. Yeah, it's one of the favorites over the last few years as well, but it depends on who you talk to, but definitely like it a lot, so we'll see. Hmm. I was like, that one definitely needs some time, though, but it's interesting. I, I like it, so. Yeah, it almost, it almost was like a Tennessee whiskey, but I mean, I feel like maybe you would have told me that. I don't know. You may, maybe not. So Joseph sounds like 1793 full proof. What is this? Did I miss 1792. something? 1792. What sounds like 1792? Oh, what he? Oh, the proof. Oh, he's, oh. he's guessing what it is. Oh, okay, okay. And I'm I'm actually sipping on my Booker's off the rocker is what I'm starting with. Yes. So he brought. I actually haven't had that one. So if we have some time tonight, I'm gonna try that too. Yeah, so definitely. Um, definitely. now now Joseph's got everything in 1792. Maybe he spoiled <laughs> it. Let's let's see. On the nose, I, I don't. I can't really. It's different. It's different than what I normally drink. I don't think it's anything like Knob Creek or Heaven Hill or anything like that. Because I'm trying to think of ones that have store picks. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. It's a little hot for the first drink of the day, but it's good, man. You know what? It does it's taste like good. 1792. It's good. <laughs> I I think this tastes like 1792 or Old... It's, okay, I think it's either 1792 or Old Forester, the new barrel-proof picks. Okay. Um, okay. It's that similar... kind of get that banana flavor profile although it could also be a jack daniels barrel proof man there's there's so many things that could be that are in that similar wheelhouse but i like it I, it's not usually that banana is overpowering for me mm -hmm. but i don't get that at all um i get the flavor of it but it's it's the oak is really nice it's really sweet and caramely mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I agree with that, Donnie. The, the Booker's 30th. Definitely save that for a special occasion. Definitely a good time to open it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with the 1792 pick. Well, do, yeah. Are you going to reveal what it is? or? Yeah, we can if you want. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, it is a 1792 it's pick. It's a, okay. <laughs> okay. a foolproof pick. Joseph Fraser. Well, okay. <laughs> then well, I imagine you brought this because I had that one pick. And I kept shitting on 1792. Yes. And he's like, you got to try another pick other than that one. So that, that actually was in my mind, too. Yes. That is much, much better than the Kano. That's picks. what I thought. And then there's also a few people I know of that have had this exact pick that say they like it better than Weller Foolproof. Yeah. Well, and I mean, that's what I wanted you to kind of think. Because to me, I've had that. And I think that one is definitely more mouth coating. It's mm-hmm. got more, like, you know, coat your mouth, coat your palate. Super good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it, it drinks pretty low proof. It's not like it's super hot. So. Well, that's what I was going to say. It reminds me a lot of the Jack Daniels barrel proof single barrel I had. Except that Jan- Jack Daniels one was almost 140 proof. Mm-hmm. So that was hot. This is this is much more. Um, it's open, Hello. just closely guarded. Oh, they're talking about the Booker's 30th. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you need to pour something from Beam. Yes, you do. Um, any Bookers, we have a few different Bookers here. You poured off your rocker. Yes. Actually, I may pour that too. I've never had it. I was going to do uh, Granny's Batch because you haven't had that one, but yeah, know, I'm, I'm excited to try off your rocker. But man, this, this is a good pick. That was a good stuff. Gets good. Good needs some air time though too, so you can just keep the rest of the sample and kind of mess around with it. Let me know your thoughts later. Cool. Let's go. It's about buddy. So what do we got going on? Brian Allred. I'm afraid that I have multi bottles other than the 25th. 25th tastes like the best bookers that you've ever had. Oh wow. Well, see, I know you, Brian. Hey. Brian. Um, by the way, good to see you. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah. You you bought Booker's Rye. I remember because you were you were seeking that out for a while. So mm-hmm. do you still have that or do you drink it all? <laughs> <laughs> Probably drink it all. I feel like on one of our hangouts you like opened it up or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't barrel bottle chug. Yep. And then Edward Fuller is thinking about doing a blind flight of Stag Junior Batch 12, Forrester 1920. Elijah Craig, C919, and Small Batch. That's pretty awesome. If you do Interesting. it, if you do it tonight, let us know the results. I mean, definitely, definitely. And then we got Kentucky Chew going. Sip a while off your rocker. Yeah, a lot of yeah, Stephen. A lot of people like off the rocker. So yeah. I think it's was it Perry's favorite too. I yeah, it was like... Perry's favorite too. There's a lot, a lot of guys' favorites out there. So mine's up. Mine's almost gone, but it's good stuff. Um, the only, I have had a 2016 one. Um, it was the what was the one that was 06? 2016 06? Was there? Maybe I'm thinking 2017. No, 2016 06, because 17 went to the four batches. That's when they oh. changed the four, I believe. Because I, I have had one of them, and it was because it was, oh, it was a picture of, um, I'll have Justin tell me. It okay. was at a random bar, and I saw, I was like, oh, that's definitely an old Booker's. I gotta yeah, you got to try it and see what it's yeah. about. Um, it was like a banjo. It was a blue gra- bluegrass batch. I feel like something bluegrass. Bluegill. You, did, I, you yeah, guys yeah, let I me know. know. Yeah. Oh, no, let us know in the chat. It wasn't the bluegill one. But okay. I was like, let us know in the chat if we know. Beaten ham. I, we gotta try beaten ham, dude. Yeah, I did it once when I was reviewing them both, but it's yeah. been a while. It doesn't really. It doesn't seem like a Booker's at first on the. No, nose. yeah. Our spouses are in the other room laughing, watching. I can hear them. I'm like, what are they laughing at? <laughs> God, what did I say? No, they're just laughing at us. But it's all good, man. Um, by the way, I did not. I meant to bring a bottle for us to chug. If we got any super chats, um, we, we can, can go get. Batch. We, you want to do some Granny's batch? If you want to, I mean, yeah. unless you want to chug something else. But hey, man, um, <laughs> we'll use my Granny's batch for that. So okay. if we get any super chats or new Patreon subscribers tonight, um, we should have a little animation that pops up. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Um, and we will drink from my Granny's batch bottles because why not? <laughs> oh, Blue um, Night batch was twenty seventeen oh two, I believe, Brian. I don't think not, that was 100% it. Not one hundred percent sure. I don't. I've just read the picture was of like a banjo or something. I, I don't know. I'll have to look it up after. But um, Donnie says it's been a long time since I had the Kentucky Chew. Really freaking good. Oh yeah, that was good too. Yeah. Um, Brian Allred is not as pumped about the thirtieth as others. Still have a full bottle of the rye. Have had three fourths of the one I started going to do the Blue Rangers tonight. Nice. Cool. Sounds like a good time. Still trying to Vegas happen Labor Day weekend. Anyone else? My trip's still booked and our flight's still yeah. booked. What about you? You, you guys are driving, I, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, everything's booked still, so we'll see what happens. Oh, see. Oh, because he's in... Peter White's the one in Canada, right? Mm-hmm. And they, so they don't actually do the names like they do oh, here, yeah. see, I think. I know I know it's the same stuff. It's just they don't name yeah. them. I don't know which one. That, I don't even know how to read that. <laughs> how would you read, read that? CO5-A-12? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Hey, Peter, when did you get that one? Do you know what year it was, at least? Or we can Google Bash and see. Um, yeah, so, by the way, the Vegas thing is totally an open invite. Um, if anyone wants to meet us out in Vegas for Labor Day weekend, hopefully, fingers crossed, things are open now. I'm actually, speaking of which, <laughs> um, speaking of which, I am going to Vegas. I don't know if you guys have heard, but I'm going to Vegas next week for Thursday's live stream. We are going to be live streaming from the Cosmopolitan 
doing some slot play, doing some Bellagio fountains. We're going to watch the show. Oh, I thought they're going to go in the fountains. I got all excited. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> okay. First super chat of the night comes from Donnie. Um, still a bit of delay with the reaction, but hey, it actually it popped up. So <laughs> cheers, Donnie. Um, we don't Donnie. need to drink from the bottle. Let's just, let's just pour it. Yeah. I don't want to like chug it. Like that would, yeah, I was like, mine's it's, it's gone, also so. COVID. So like we can't just like, <laughs> you don't want to share. I see how it is. So, well, I'll just drink this in your, it's still Booker, so I'll drink this in your honors. Um, Donnie, this is not quite Granny's Batch, but still cheers with Booker's. Thank you, Donnie. Cheers. Cheers, Donnie. I hear him laughing at us. Um, Donnie tagged chugging. Sam. Why am I not seeing Sam's messages? No, oh. I can recheck. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I think it tried to censor out bitches. bitches. <laughs> it, tried to, it tried to censor out bitches. I had to go to, like, the full live chat. What's up? Sam. I'm taking that Sam. That can't yeah. be Bobby. Bobby's not like that. That's gotta be Sam. <laughs> I mean, maybe Bobby's drunk. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right. Uh, uh -huh. So okay. So Peter White. So his is from 2014. So that when did they start doing the years instead of that that weird naming that because that might have been still that weird naming stuff even if it wasn't Canada. Mm, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know much about Booker. Someone's gotta correct me because I know I'm wrong. But that off your rocker actually is really like good. Yeah. Like it's 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 dangerous good. It's one of those that like doesn't drink that high a proof even though it's mm -hmm. 129. Yeah, one twenty nine point seven. Wow, it's good stuff. Like it's it's more nutty than I think. Um, Granny's batches, which by the way you can pour some of that. Oh, thank you, sir. Um, yeah. So it's it's, but it's more. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like what specifically makes it different, but I know it does taste different. You have to spend some time with that one. Yeah. If you have a sample bottle, I'll leave some with you. Oh, please do. I don't if, know if you didn't already do it. <laughs> Um, we'll have to look through it all so and Brian, see. Brian says they are open, but no appropriate opening and no masks on the pictures there. Oh, you're talking about from Vegas? Yeah. So the first couple days Vegas was open, everything I saw, people were wearing masks. People were like following rules. Lately, though, in every photo I see, people are Just not wearing masks. Just slid off and yeah. 90, someone said like 95% of people in Vegas right now aren't wearing masks. We will be wearing masks the entire time. Like the only time we may take our masks off is if we're like seated at like a slot machine. There's no one around. But yeah, we're going to wear masks because... Honestly, I think it's the responsible thing to do. All the employees are wearing masks, so um, especially so we're out here in LA, so like everyone here is still, still wearing, wearing masks. them. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's it's weird to me to think that there's places where no one's wearing them. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Justin said I had the 2016-01 Booker's Bluegrass from BJ's. Thank you, Justin. There you go. That was it. Yeah, I, I knew <laughs> blue was in there somewhere. Yeah. Um. Uh. So people are just saying hi to Sam. First hello. Uh, which do you prefer, kitchen table or grains batch? I, I haven't had them side by side. I do yeah. really love kitchen table though, so like, that's a tough one. Um, I know what you mean by the peanut butter on this kitchen on this grains batch. Oh yeah, oh that one's like straight up like peanut yeah. brittle. Mm -hmm. Like I think of like peanut brittle like from the fair or whatever. Oh yeah, it's like yeah, because yeah, I know you bought me a bottle, I haven't opened it yet, so obviously it's been here. So just been watching your guys' reviews on it. Yeah, it smells good though. Well, I'm excited to get into these. Whenever you're ready, hide, buddy. I'm gonna hide this so we don't drunkenly drink from this when we get super tats. <laughs> No, that we got to keep around for a while. Yeah. So we have the Granny Smash. If any Super Chats or new Patreon members come through, um, we will drink this for you guys. So. Of course. Um, plus, like I said earlier, the Patreon, if you want to come to the after party, um, get your tier, or whatever, your table, your subscriptions in now. I don't know what you call them, Patreon. Your <laughs> pledges. That's it. Yeah. So um, Sam says, we're table. assuming it's Sam. Yeah, I was like, kitchen table better than Granny's Batch. I could see that. It depends, because like Phil Lifton was saying, like if you like Granny's Batch, you probably like the peanut brittle, like the... Peanut nutty, nutty oh, taste, yeah. so... No, I love that. <laughs> Joseph says... Joseph, you're trying to get yourself banned, aren't you? We have some mods here. We have Brian Bernicke who's a mod. I think we have Donnie some mods. So mm -hmm. watch your mouth. Um, mm -hmm. Just kidding, Joseph. Okay, so let's move on to the first Bookers of the Night. Not the, not the first Bookers of the Night. <laughs> the first special edition Bookers yes, of the Night. Yes, there you go. Um, so this is Booker's 25th anniversary. So this one came out in 2014. Um, it was actually the first, I guess, special release Booker. No, actually, no, there was a, I think there was a 10th. Yeah, there was, 10th. A there was a 10th. Um, but anyways, this is actually some of the last barrels that Booker No picked or like filled as time as a master distiller. So these are actually like his like distillate, which is really cool to me. I mean, I think that's, mm -hmm. it shows the history and how, you know, how far they've come. And we, you know, the current master distiller, um, Fred No is training his son kind of in the similar way that Booker trained Fred and now mm -hmm. Fred is training Freddie. Yep, keep it in the family. That's cool. Um, but yeah, this one is um, a mix of 9 to 11-year-old barrels. Um, it's 65% ABV. 
Um, it was $100 MSRP when it first came out. So that wow. and you got to think, in 2014, there weren't that many expensive bourbons. I mean, Pappy sat on the shelves for like $80. Mm-hmm. Like, so that, that's pretty up there in price. Yeah, because that's right when the boom started. I think it was 2014-ish. Yeah, right around shortly there, after so. that. So um, I have not had this. This is one of the ones I have not had. No. On the nose, it almost it does almost smell like a dusty bourbon. Like, yeah. I have an older Jim Beam from the 70s, and it's a very similar nose to that. And I think it's almost like chocolatey. I think... I was looking at the, the tasting notes that they're describing on the bottle, and they say dark chocolate, and I think I do get that. Oh, it smells so good, though. It's really sweet. It's, it's different. It's it's yes. not like the Off Your Rocker, and I don't think it's like Granny's Patch. No. Not nearly as nutty. I don't think it's as like... Or it's not peanut nutty. It's more of like a maybe a darker nut or something, but... Yeah, because even Granny's Batch, like if you smell it on the nose, it smells like it's got like a lighter nose to it. Oh, like yeah. like this one's kind of like dark, like leather oak. Yeah, it's, that it's, one's kind of like light fragrance. Although I will say this does smell like a Booker's. I feel like it smells more like a Booker's than your um, off your rocker. Off your rocker, yeah. I think it's because it's so oak forward. I mean, I think most most Booker's yeah. are so oak forward. Um, so let's go ahead and oh god, the, the little, little book is overpriced. It, de- it depends on which batch you're talking about because I, I know this little book chapter three up it was only eighty dollars mm-hmm. so it was totally worth it although it is it has gone up in price it's like 130 oh, really? now okay yeah okay um so let's go ahead and try this cheers hey, cheers buddy well that was loud that was, good. That was a good glass <laughs> one. all right cheers guys Ooh, that's nice well, if you don't like oak, you're going to hate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's mm. that's good. It's, it almost makes me have to sneeze. <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> not to sneeze. I don't, don't want to sneeze. Yeah. No, it is. It's like, like a black pepper. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, oh, man. Still really sweet, though. It's like not the oak isn't overpowered by... Or the, the sweetness isn't overpowered by the oak. No, it's got a good balance. Um, man. And it's, I mean, 9 to 11 years old is about the same age as most bookers nowadays. Well, they're like, this, bookers are 7 to 8. Right? This was actually 6. Oh, so yeah, it's even younger. Granny's Batch is 6 years old. Um, man, that finish is real nice, though. Mm, it's it's, almost, still, it's I, still going. It goes back to the peanut, like the peanut brittle on the finish. It reminds me of the Granny's Batch only on the finish, though. I don't think, like, the rest of it was. Yeah, as, I know. I was like, I don't get any of that on the nose, like. Yeah, the nose The nose is the most It's hard very to, deceiving, like, yeah. like. But yeah, you definitely get the spice, you get the oak. I don't really get dark fruit though, do you? No, I mean there is a sweetness there, but I still it's more of like the caramel, like the the like the oak. What what did someone say in the last stream, like oak sugars or something? Oh, sweet oak. Open. Um yeah. Can you open this and help? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I brought a little dropper to add some water. We just have a look we're only drinking half an ounce each tonight. Um okay. I'll let you do your dropper, it's open. Yeah. I was like, just because I had to share it with my husband, <laughs> so he was drinking, the, drinking it in the other room. Um, but I also wanted to save a little bit just for if we ever want to compare it. Let's say they release a Booker's Rye Batch 2. Um, I would love to compare them side by side. So I'm just going to add like, I don't know, like four drops of water. There you go. I didn't have much left in the glass. So. No, and we'll, we'll leave mine alone so that way we can compare and contrast. Yeah. Um, so Brian Bernicke says, or sorry, Brian Allred says, the 25th is the best Booker's I've had. Um, wish you could get more. So much for the secondary market. I don't even know what the 25th goes for on the secondary I've market. I've never even seen it, honestly. I I've never even seen I've it. I've seen the 10th on the secondary market, but that's the only one that I've seen. Yeah, and how much was the 10th? Um, a lot. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. <laughs> um, I mean, because even, even Booker's 30th is what? The cheapest I've seen is 800, 700? Well, Booker's Rise is what? Up to 1200 now? Yeah, I think Booker's I think Rise is like 1200. That. Um, so I'm imagining the 25th has got to be around that ballpark. Probably, it probably isn't as high as the rye. I think the rye was the yeah. most like well, well, like received. Like everyone wanted the rye. Um, what's up, Trev Wilson? Hopefully, hopefully you're still on the boat and safe. <laughs> Trev not doing the tra- this while you're driving. <laughs> well, no, Trev was earlier saying like I'm on a boat and I'm drunk, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, sounds like sounds like a great way to spend a Saturday. I, I wish I had a boat. Oh but, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna catch up on the chat. Yeah, um, see, Joseph, most bookers are six to seven years, yeah, and this one's nine to eleven. Yeah, so. uh, Cohen says that it's about one twenty now. The the little book three. Okay. Um, I do eighty. Yeah, I, that hundred. I swear, I have a something that's anything over eighty. I have a hard time with, and it's, it's hard to maybe pay that much. Mm-hmm. But I did. I mean, y- y'all saw like a recent review. I did the um, Master's Keep, and it was uh, worth it. So it, it depends. Yeah, to each, to each your own, you know, just like we always say, that's why you got to do reviews. You got to try it in a bar if you need to before, because my palate's different than his palate, and we're different than your guys' palate, so. Yeah, um, Donnie got Booker's 30th for 375 That's actually a good price. That, that's... I would, see, I would buy it for 375 The cheapest I've seen it in California is 800 
I wouldn't. I would it. love to have it for three seventy five. I'd buy it in a heartbeat, but I only saw it once, and yeah. So this changed the nose a lot. There's way more oak now. If you want to smell it, this one, this is the one that. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave this over here so we don't <laughs> don't get it confused. Yeah. Um, oh wow, that's the twenty fifth still. It's way more oaky, or maybe it's just from sitting out of it. These we poured all these right before we started the stream, so they've been sitting well, a bit. Well, it's a, it's a good example because so smell this one without the water, so okay. it's got like the spice to it. Like it's still like the water definitely mellows it out on the nose. Yeah, but this one's but, so sweeter. This one's more caramely. This yeah. one is oak, like oak, oak, oak all oak day. Bomb. So I'm curious how it seems, changes the taste. It's still roughly the same. It brings out. I mean, if you want to try the, the, the last little bit, yeah. yeah, why not? It's fine. Um, it tastes more like I was getting like a dusty note on the nose that smelled like an older Jim Beam. I think with the water, it does taste more like an older Jim Beam, like a 1970s Jim Beam. Um, I'm only based that on like the one 1970s Jim Beam I've ever had, but it's more like that. But I actually like it better with water. Not gonna lie. No, nope. you don't. <laughs> you, I I'm the weirdo. I still have yet to find a, a bourbon that I like better with water. Yeah, I've tried so many times. Doesn't matter if it's a drop. Doesn't matter if it's you know pour. It's doesn't do it even with ice yeah. nope sorry that was really good i was actually really yeah, surprised by that no one talks about 25th everyone talks about 30th or rye well maybe it's because the 25th was gone so long ago mean, mean like like most of us didn't start drinking bourbon until 2015 2016 so we didn't really know any better yeah um, so brian ard says booker's 25th was 800 when things got shut down originally he paid 400 for a bottle of the 30th while i was still able to yeah, yeah that, i mean that's that's i mean i personally wouldn't i don't know i'm yeah. I'm very hesitant to buy over $100, like I said. Mm -hmm. like, so I don't know if I would feel like it's worth it, but maybe we'll find out tonight. Maybe I'll be like, screw it. Maybe I you change your mind, whatever. <laughs> like, you never know. Yeah, so are you ready to move on to the 30th? Uh, I'm excited. This is the... Okay, so <sighs> I'll tell you all my, my opinion on the 30th based on first impressions. Like I said, I was not new to bourbon, but I was new to expensive bourbon. This was my first meetup for my local group um, I had ever gone to. Um, Justin was like, I don't know these people, I'm not going. And then I told him what we had, and he's like, God damn it. I should have went. He came, to the, he came to the next one, and they had mostly scotch. So he's like, yeah. what is this? <laughs> but no, great great group of local guys here in Southern California. Um, we go down to their house about once a month, and Brandon started going too. Yep, yep. Um, a bunch, good group of guys. Yeah, so. I don't know if, is anyone in, in our chat yet? I don't know if Chris is here or anything I haven't like seen that. them here, but they, they may pop in later. Pat Juan. Yeah. Oh yeah, Juan's usually here, but, um, well, it's also a Saturday. Like, people are doing Yeah, Saturday afternoon. In California, it's literally 3, 3.55 yeah. in South California, so people are probably out Although there's not much you can really do right now, but <laughs> still they're out and about. There's a lot of people on the freeway today, so. So Brian Allred says water in the 25th is heresy. I only put four drops. It was it was a very small amount of water, so. Um, Good call, Brian. <laughs> He's like done to it. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I mean, I honest, I'll be honest. I drink Booker's over like a, a ice cube, like a large like like one of the big yeah. ice cubes. Yeah. I think it's nice. Justin hates it that way. Every time I add ice to any whiskey, he's like, "Ew, that's disgusting." Smart man. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. Um, all right. So the thirtieth. Let me talk a little bit about what's what the thirtieth is. Um, uh, according to its bourbonite, Trev's standard lounging attire is a lab coat and a captain's hat and nothing else. Oh, baby. <laughs> Speaking of its bourbonite, <laughs> repping their merch here tonight. Um, I, I They're part of the Beagle yeah. Rare project that ADHD Fishing... I don't think they're going to be on tonight um, with them, but um, they contributed, so. Um, so the... Oh, it just hit me. Oh, it's coming in. Booker's 30th. Um, it's a blend of 16-year and 9-year-old bourbons. Um, sorry, I'm burping a bit. Um, thank you, Joseph. Hit that like button. Yes, I appreciate likes. By the way, I don't know if some of you guys saw, I accidentally deleted yesterday's video. I saw that. I wondered why you reposted the video. I was like, what's this guy doing? So, okay, what had happened was <laughs> I... <laughs> Cheers, Joseph. I'm about to pour some bookers for us. Hold Cheers, on. buddy. Um, so what happened was That's I was great. testing out my mobile YouTube app for the Vegas stream for next week. Um, and I just did a couple test streams. My first one, the mic audio was really bad. So I had them unlisted, like no one could see them, but I was deleting them, and I deleted it, and it didn't disappear. So I'm like, why uh -oh. did this not delete disappear? So I hit delete again. It's only one button. There's no warning. You hit the delete. But then as I was pressing it, it updated, and it switched to the video from last night. And I, as I was hitting delete, I was like, <laughs> no! So I lost it. So I apologize okay. for those. But for those of you that re-liked the video from last night, I appreciate you. Um, Y'all are awesome. There we go. I was like, scroll back up, though, real quick. Cause, oh. So Co was his what name? Cohen? Is that how you say it? He said he got the small batch for $39. I think it was E.H. Taylor small batch. Scroll up a little oh, bit. I didn't see, oh, is it in here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that is really good. Yeah, I, that's MSRP, I believe, because I think our local store, when they have it, is $39.99. Yeah, too. That's, that's the price that it's pretty... Well, he's, he's in Southern California, too. I don't, oh, okay. I don't know exactly okay. where he is. Actually, I think... Were you with Sherman Oaks? Someone was in Sherman Oaks. Someone was in Burbank. Yeah, I know. Someone was in Burbank. I was like, what the hell? How do I not know you guys? 
Okay, so this is this Booker's. Um, this is Granny's batch again. I'm gonna pour it. This is actually my first time having it tonight. Um, pour some of the Granny. Oh, you saw some. I saw a little bit okay, of Granny's cool. batch in here, so we're good. Um, this is for Joseph Brazo. Again, thank you, Joseph. You are awesome. Cheers, Cheers bud. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Oh, peanut brittle. I get so much peanut. peanut. I get like peanut butter on the palate mm -hmm. all, all day. That's the most peanut Booker's I've ever had, and I, I like peanut flavor. So. Yeah, it'll be good. Well, see, so I first thought it was like a roasted peanut. Like a, have you ever had the peanuts that are in the shell and yeah. you like you like pop them up? I sometimes eat the shell, and I'm a weirdo. Okay. <laughs> but you do you, boo boo. It does taste like, like that dusty, like the dusty roasted peanut. I can see that. I can see that. As a Booker's though, I don't know if it. It's weird to compare to other Booker's because I feel like, I don't know. It's it's so unique. I'm I'm excited for the next batches from 2020 to see how yeah. they're gonna change. I'm saving some to do like a full comparison. Do full flight. Is there even the second one out yet? Not yet. I want to say it's on their website. Like I want to say the name's out, but it's not uh, released to the market yet, as far yeah. as I know. In California, we are so slow, especially with I mean, Elijah Craig. Everything's late, man. Elijah Craig takes forever to get here. Um, um, oh, yeah, he's in Sherman Oaks. Oh, that's okay, cool. Cool. Um, yeah, we're, we're in North Hollywood, okay, or so I am. You're in Orange I'm in, County. Yeah, I'm in South Orange County, so, <laughs> yeah. okay. Edward, you changed up his flight. Um, the Eagle Rare, Redwood, Redwood, and Buyer. Oh, I haven't tried anything from I them. haven't heard. Yeah, I was like, let us know what you think of Redwood. I'm curious about they're that one. Because they're near, they're, um, I think they're... San Diego. They're not San Diego. They're somewhere in California. Somewhere in California. Yeah. And then Knob Creek and then Cool. Yeah. That's that's a pretty solid. Actually, I, I like that lineup better than the one you had earlier. So yeah, nice definitely. choice. Um. Okay. They're talking about how expensive it is in secondary. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um. Brian Burnicky says the thirtieth is the bottle that I was pulling into a liquor store. And Monica was leaving with the last. Oh, bottle. I remember <laughs> when she had that. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um. What do I think of Four Square Rum? I have not had it yet. Um. So I, I've heard lots of good things though. I'm slowly getting to rum, but I feel like I still have a lot to explore with whiskey, especially scotch. So I'm taking my time with the rum, but I do hope to eventually get more into it. Um, okay, this is the 30th. I gotta make sure I didn't get those confused. I think I would know, though, if it's Granny's Batch or Yeah, I was going to say, at least, at least I hope you would know, unless you're too far yeah. gone already. No. They're half-ounce pours, dude. I'm, I'm cool. You never know, man. You That's for the know. after party. Y'all see. We got yeah, some other... Clippy, Clippy's on his way out. Don't you worry about These that. These other bookers are for the after party, so. Oh, goody. I was Ooh, like, the 30th the on nose those, is man. interesting. Is that dark fruit? Oh, I don't know if I told them. I, I started to say it, but um, the first time I had Booker's 30th, I feel like I started that story and I didn't even finish it. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> you got distracted by something. I did, I did. The first time I had Booker's 30th, like I said, I was new to whiskey. I thought it was too oaky. I, I was kind of off-put by how oaky it was. And I had had Booker's before, but to me, it was like way too oak forward. Now, it's a blend of a 16-year and a 9-year bourbon, so it's got some old stuff in there. And the story behind that was, um, actually, Fred No wanted to originally do the 16-year as the release. Like, oh, it's a 16-year-old bourbon. Mm -hmm. But he thought that the nose was really off-putting. He didn't like the nose. So he called his son, Freddie, in the room. And he's like, hey, Freddie, what do you think of the nose on this? And he's like, I don't really like it. And he's like, that's all I need to know. That's, 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 that's all I want to know. So he added some nine-year to it. And I would say that's probably a good it's, choice. Yeah. I... Yeah, I, I wish I had some more of the 25th left to compare go. the nose. Is that the 25th? Yeah, it's 25th. That's the last of the 25th without water. So it's similar. It's almost just like... The there is more is oak like, in the 30th. Yeah, the, oh, the, to me, the 30th is almost like everything, but just turned up a little bit more. Yeah, I think the 25th is more caramelly. I get way more caramel sweetness with the 25th. Although, it, they've yeah, all been, they've yeah, been yeah, in the yeah. glass the same amount of time, though. It's not like mm -hmm. it's been in there longer. Um, yeah, we'll see. Well, like I said, we'll leave them at the end, and we can compare at the end, too, because I'll leave a little bit in the rest of them. <laughs> Tommy says six seconds will be paid during the after party. I know <laughs> you and Steven, y'all are swearing about that. I'll get my wild turkey for the after party. Is it you finish your handle yet or what? No. Oh, I did, but I have another one. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, guys, minute. we gotta make him finish the handle. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and try this. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Hmm. It's similar at first. Oh, that's hot. I know, right? It's, yeah, as soon as, it, as soon as it goes down, you're just like, okay. And then it just kind of builds a little bit. So the proof on the 30th is 125.8. The proof on the 10th, what is 65 times 2? 130. One, oh, they're, they're like, it's they're actually pretty similar, but, but still. five proof points more. That drink's way hotter than the 25th. Yeah. Well, that's why, I don't know about you, I've noticed about bean products is they like to drink hot. Like what you, like, um, you know, the other day you did the 15 year mm -hmm. Knob Creek? Yeah. Remember, you're like, for 100 proof, it drinks oh, yeah. pretty hot. It drinks really hot for that. Especially, yeah, because, I mean, it tasted like I was drinking the 120 proof at mm -hmm. first. I was like, what is it? Did I mix up my bottles? But no, I didn't. Yeah. I was like, that's usually what I get when I drink Knob Creek products. I don't know if you guys get that as well. Usually, most of the time, they drink hotter than what the proof is, but... I agree with that, but I, I love it. Um, yeah. 
Uh, Cohen says bourbon people like Foursquare. Yeah, I've, I hear that a lot. It's just expensive, and I, I've never bought an expensive rum. The most expensive rum I bought was the Kirk and Sweeney 23-year-old. Um, exactly. I know it's not as revered as Foursquare, but it was in my price range at the point. It was good, and it made me more curious to try more rum, so um, I'm excited to get more into that, but I still have a lot to discover with whiskey. Mm-hmm. This stuff is good, though. I like the finish. It's just, it's still going. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, I have, like, a flavor wheel pulled up here because I do want to do some, like, specifics, like, diving into it. I got way more black pepper with the 25th. This one is more in the, it's not as chocolate. I got way more chocolate on the 25th. This one is more, like, butterscotch, like, caramel sweetness. I definitely think it's more oaky, but it's not overpowering like I thought the first time I had it. The first time I had it, I was like, oh, too much oak. I don't like yeah. it. Not that I didn't like it. Don't don't put it out there that I did not like it. <laughs> I did like it. but or, it, or put it out there, you know. But it was the same night that I had Booker's Rise, so, you know. Um, oh, it's good stuff, man. Yeah, that's actually legit. Like, I see why people are paying three to $400 for it. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's Especially if you're a huge Booker's fan. I mean, that's right up your alley. Like, that's honestly probably... The best Booker's I've ever had. Yeah. I was like, thinking the same yeah. thing, but at the same time... If you had more, it'd be interesting to see how it would do with a flight of your favorite bookers of each, you know, pick one from each year and yeah. throw that in the mix and see how it compares. Blind. And this this is way more in the realm of bookers. I know I said the 25th reminded me of a bookers. This this is this is all bookers. bookers all day, man. But it right tastes there. like you took all the best aspects of a bookers. It's the only thing is it's missing is I feel like there's not as much nuttiness that I normally no. get on a bookers. Mm. Not at all. Um Donnie says compare and contrast the 25th and 30th. We are only working with point like point five ounces of sample, so I don't actually have to do side by side. I did just nose them together though. I would say I prefer the thirtieth over the twenty fifth. I could see that. I, what about you? I don't know. I was like, hold on. I was like on the palate. I definitely like the thirtieth more. Oh yeah. But I on think the nose, the, that's true. The nose on the twenty fifth. I, I have a exact. I was thinking the nose on the twenty fifth for sure because I'm I'm a, I'm a sucker for sweet bourbon, so yeah. that's my own personal preference. But yeah, but I mean, I think the thirtieth. I think taste wise. On the palate, the 30th is like, to me, like I said, it's everything the 25th turned up and the finish is ridiculous, man. It still is just going. It goes forever. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's young. Or no, it's not younger. It's older, right? Nine, you said 16. Nine and 16. And then it is older. It is older than the Booker 25th. Yes. Um, yeah, man, that's good. I, uh, I, I will stop I saying w- <laughs> I didn't like Booker's 30th. <laughs> if only you could find a bottle for a I decent know, price, know. you know. <sighs> hey, Brian, you know, you want to hook a brother up? We can do that flight if you want. Hey. Do a blind flight. Joseph, I would pass too. That is ridiculously too high. One thirty-five for Granny's Match. So I will say Granny's Match was the most expensive it's ever been here in California. It's, yeah, I went up to seventy. Normally it's sixty, now it's seventy, which I know is way cheaper than you guys pay it. In Kentucky, it's eighty to ninety. Yeah, I mean Joseph, if you want a bottle, let us know. I'm sure Clifton and I can figure out a way because we can get it to you for cheaper than one thirty-five. So oh yeah, shipped. absolutely. Yeah. So we'll figure it out though, buddy. Just instant message us or whatever. Um, figure it out. Brian Bernicke just got grains for eighty and still crunch. That's that's about what he got. Seventy to eighty. Yeah, is like I'm, I'm with you, Brian. If it goes up to eighty in California, I'm definitely like at least wait until the reviews start coming out because I don't know about you guys. I would pay eighty for Country Ham. That is my favorite of the past few years. I would pay eighty, no problem with that one. Yeah. Whereas Granny, you know, Grains Batch. I would probably depends. buy it because I'm reviewing it on the yes. <laughs> for you guys. But I like as like a I would not buy a backup bottle of it. Okay. Whereas Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, <laughs> all day every day, <laughs> it's sixty dollars here still has not gone up in price. I buy backups to my backups. Like I have so much Elijah Craig Barrel Proof because they just every release. Some I do prefer over others, but every mm-hmm. release is a very solid release. So definitely. Um, I know it's a little bit. Of, it's not a blend. It's not like this, but it or no, it is blend. Never mind. Yeah, it's on single barrel. They don't have a story behind it. No, there you go. But um, hell, I'm just looking for both. Oh, B B five twenty. Yeah, we don't have that out here yet. No, I don't like the A one twenty appeared and then it disappeared. Like it was here for like a couple weeks and then gone. A few different stores had it and now it's nowhere. Mm-hmm. Um, am I gonna do any, some single malt reviews in the future? Um, yes, I I've done a couple. Um, a couple of live streams ago, I tried a, four different ones. Um, I had the Coastal Malt Collection, which is like a little box set. Um, check out my previous streams if you missed it. Um, I, I honestly, I feel like I need to explore more on Scotch before I actually review it because I feel like my reviews aren't mm-hmm. <laughs> as compelling. Just Not where like, they should be. Tastes like Scotch, you know. <laughs> so I, I'm working on it though. I do want to do more of it. Um, so if you're new here yeah. and you haven't subscribed yet, um, a little plug there. There you go. Um, subscribe. I will explore more into Scotch. Maybe some rum. We'll see. We'll mm-hmm. see. We're still figuting out what we're doing with this channel. It's, it's a new concept, so... And if you have any ideas, be, f- be sure to message him. You know, Please. you guys can chit-chat back and forth yes. and figure message it out. Message me here, Instagram. Instagram is at bourbonbites, or email me, bourbonbites at gmail.com. Honestly, just 
I, it's not like I'm like, oh, I'm so popular. I might read your message. No. no. <laughs> I read everyone's messages, so. That's good. Okay, so Brian. Yeah, Brian's Sip with me. Country Hammer Kitchen Table, yeah. Yeah, and then it, Brian Allred says, Sip a while is worth chasing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was really good. Yeah, if you can, for a decent price, which I only saw the one bottle, and I got it for a hell of a steal. I was so. like, is this still, I was like, no, that's the Granny's back. No, hey, you that's the super. That's the Super Chats. Yep, <laughs> that's Super chat. So, and then Brian, Brian Brennicky, let us know what you think of the Larceny B520. Yeah. How's it compared to the A120? I'm curious. Do some scotch hangouts. Need to coordinate so we can ship, ship the same ones. Oh, yeah, man. Totally. Um, by the way, if you are a patron that is not quite the 10... Or, honestly, if you're a patron at all, over $5, I'm planning my monthly hangout. Um, it will not be this weekend because I'll be in Vegas, but I'm thinking the next weekend. I'll put up a poll on Patreon to find out what's best for you guys. But um, hoping to get to that. Um, I definitely will because the end of the month is approaching. So. <laughs> it's coming up pretty yeah. quick. Got to so. make sure. I got to stick with like, okay, if I promise y'all this every month, I'm giving it to y'all every month. So There you go. Are you ready for the Booker's Rye? Uh, let's see. Are so, ready for it? Don't get mad at me, guys. I'm not a big Rye fan, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> I do remember this is one of the... F- oh, that sounds so bad. This is one of the first Rye's. <laughs> Booker's Rye was one of the first rides I ever Ooh. had, but I do remember thinking that it was way, very bourbon-y. Very bourbon Yes. Okay. Really I was new. In. I was really? new. Okay. <laughs> so the story behind this is this is an old rye whiskey. Rye whiskey is not usually this old. This is around 13 years old. Um, this is actually, you know how I said in the 25th was some of the first um, barrels that Booker, or not first, sorry, some of the last barrels that Booker No laid as a master mm-hmm. distiller. This is also those same barrels, but it's rye. Okay, yes. So he thought early on to start experimenting with rye with the Booker's brand. So it was kind of his idea. Um, he passed away a year later after filling these barrels. Um, but, of course, Fred No did all the blending and the finishing on this. Um, but it, they are all 13 years. And also the most interesting fact that I think is really cool, this was released in June of 2016. Um, which is right around the time during Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma. So what Jim Beam did with this product is they really, they gave 100% of the company's proceeds from sales and donated it to um, a local Feeding America food banks and Operation uh, Barbecue Relief. Cool. So they donated all the profits from this whiskey. This whiskey that people seek out and pay thousands... Okay, that's like controversial. But people are paying... A lot the, of money. Yeah, the release of this was $300 when it first came out, which is okay. a lot for like a standard release, like MSRP. Mm-hmm. Um, people are paying 1200 for this on secondary right now. It just kind of sucks that like this was released as like a uh, tribute, like a fundraiser, and people mm-hmm. are paying out the yeah, and that's for just it. for someone's pocket, just for someone's pocket. So, charity, so yeah, it's all controversial. But um, so Peter White says Booker's Rye is more like a bourbon. Yeah. Um, so Brian Bernicke says he will be opening and comparing tomorrow or Monday. Are you talking about okay. Booker's? Rye? What are you talking about? No, he's talking about the oh, Larceny Larceny. Rare Proof. I was like, you have Booker's Rye? What? Yeah, Larceny Rare Proof. No. Yeah. Um, On the nose, it does nose like a bourbon, but there's like that spiciness. I think I, I definitely think the spice stands out. That's yeah, that's why I get right out of the bat. That smells good. I just want to make sure there weren't any additional info we need to, to say. What was the proof on this? Yes, um, one thirty six point two. So that is high. high proof. Thirteen years, one month, and twelve days. That's crazy. Because what is what's the um, age on Thomas H. Handy? Because I know it's the uh, B Tech. And Handy I feel like it's not that it's only high. Like six years. I, I think. was gonna say I feel yeah. like it wasn't even that high, and that's B Tech, and yeah. people are still paying ridiculous for even that. So. Peter White has an Alberta premium 30-year 100% rye. Jeez. Only 40%. See, that's what I, I just like when people do that. They have something that's super well-aged, and they release it at 40%. Like, that's, uh, that sucks. But, it, like, I mean, Peter, you and I have talked before. Canada, especially in America, Canadian releases suck in America. You sent me some awesome samples. Um, by the way, if you all missed that, I did a bunch of Canadian whiskeys, like, probably a few months ago. It was before this yeah, whole lockdown thing. Um, Peter sent me some awesome Canadian whiskey that changed my opinion. So if you're one of the people like me that was like, ugh, I don't like Canadian, check that out and look at some of their releases because it's ridiculous. Claremont, not Claremont, okay. Because what's the mash bill on this? Um, mash bill on the Booker's Rye. Do they release it? Let me check. Undisclosed. Undisclosed of course. Yeah. Because Brian posted that, so I wasn't sure because he says very high corn, so. Yeah, I, I imagine it's probably similar to the Knob Creek Rye with that 51% barely legal rye. Okay, okay. Um, but it's, on the nose, it's very spicy, I think. Spicy and sweet at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the corn sweetness definitely shines through. Um, it does nose pretty hot, but again, it's also one like one thirty something. Yeah, <laughs> like really, said. it's like, the highest proof one we've that's had. That's crazy. Like that's especially for a rye because rye usually aren't that high. Yeah, but still, like oak, it's it's very, it's not quite. I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't guess this is a Booker's based on the nose. No. Let's go ahead and try it. This is the cheers, big bud. deal. So cheers, and thank you for joining me for this. Thanks, bud. Cheers.
Mm. My mouth is entirely coated. That's hot. Man. Man. That's hot. Oh, oh, oh. Dude. Then think of the finish. It's like it like as soon as you swallow it like starts bursting like <laughs> it's crazy. This is your first time trying Boku Dry, so oh my first God. thoughts on your first step. I know you can't really d- dive hot. too deep in. It's hot. Yeah. I'll give you that. If you don't like hot, you don't like spice, this is I'm sorry, this is definitely not for you. Yeah. But the longer you let it sit, the heat kind of Man, fades away. Man, the finish away. is still going. That mm-hmm. is ridiculous. Now, I feel like I get a little bit of oak like now that it's starting mm-hmm. to kind of fade yeah. away a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to need a second sip before I can really dive in like to the mm-hmm. different notes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Man. But I do know that my fr- so the first time I tried, like I said, was I was pretty new to not new to bourbon, but new to like expensive bourbon. Mm-hmm. I knew in that moment that this was something special, even though I I had heard about it, but I was like, yeah, it can't be that good. Yeah, <laughs> well, boy, were you wrong? <sighs> my, yeah, Donnie, it's called Big Time Rye. You are correct, dude. This is Big Time Rye, man. Like, yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Um, I know that may be controversial. No, I'll take a second sip first. I'll, t- I'll try it one more time. Yep, take another baby sip. On the nose, now that man. I've tried it, I get way more oak. It's more oak forward. Um, almost an older oak, I guess, leathery. I would say like a little bit of like the leather, leather kind of oak, but still like it, it. You can tell there's age on this. I mean, rye not matures faster, but usually you can put out a younger rye and it yeah. still be good. Mm-hmm. This definitely is like a well aged rye. Man, now it's not as hot. The second sip mellows out for me. It's so oily on the mouth. Mm-hmm. Mouth coating. It's probably the most oily or the most like mouth coating that I've ever I mean, had. Just look at the legs on this thing. Oh my god! I, know, I was like, you guys probably can't see it, but dude, yeah. the legs is ridiculous on this thing. More oak in the finish. It's more oak than the thirtieth, I think, in my opinion. Like, but it also has. Honestly, though, it doesn't really taste like a rye. You're you're not a rye guy, so what do you it's, think? It's just hot. It's hot. Which yes. <laughs> which that's honestly that's what usually turned me off. Rye rye. When I first started hot. drinking was yes. the, with the spice. Yeah. But now I've gotten into it a little more. It's not bad. I'm going to start trying more rye, you know, as I can move forward. You but. heard it here first. Brandon says Booker's <laughs> rye is not bad. <laughs> Controversial comment, I man. know. Don't find me on Instagram or Facebook. I, know, I don't exist, I swear. <laughs> Tell him how wrong he is. It's, I mean, I do want to let good. the I want to let the water mingle a little bit. Yeah. I know we've gone a little bit over time here. Um, oh, wait, no, we haven't. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. We've still got 15 minutes, man. You see, Cliffy's here, guys. Send some super chats. Let's get them wasted before the uh, <laughs> after show here. I mean, that's that if y'all want to. I mean, or send some Patreon support. So if y'all want to join the after party and see me wasted, there that's you go. Even whatever works, man. So I'm here to help. Um, <sighs> that's good. That's so good. I'm, I I, I want to let the water mingle a little bit though, because I think that's gonna. I I mean, you you said it's hot too. Do you want to add some water to yours? Just no. Some, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna wait and see how you react okay. because every time I've added water, it makes it worse. Excuse me. So on the nose, I think the water. And up. Hair. I think I know what you mean, Donnie, and damn straight, son. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude, that's cool. On the nose, it after I've added the water, it's definitely a rye. Like, smell it. You'll know that's a rye right off the bat. Like, that's... Sorry, Alan. I get way more, like... Almost like a pepper nose. Mm-hmm. I was like, here, I'll be your other arm for right now. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Yeah, yours is more sweet, and mine has more of the spice. Mm-hmm. Like, like, the water kills the sweetness on it. Yeah. But. At least on the nose. Sweet. Yes, on the nose. I, whenever you get a minute, you take your time on the palate, and let's see what it tastes yeah. like. Survey says. I don't think it's better or worse. I think it's different because like you said different is not bad it's not good just different it tastes more like a traditional rye it, it brings out more of those spicy rye notes um which is why i'm not going to give you any because like you don't like those <laughs> that's fine i mean you have something you can add some water to too i'm yeah no water art right, please thank you brian i no. do think if you hell no if you like more of those rye things like i do add a little bit of water it does bring them out and it, it makes them more apparent especially if you feel like it's too oaky and too bourbony for your likings Adding some water brings out those those spices. Um, like I said, I think you I think you would prefer it on like adulterated or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's so spicy though. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's it's is, it, is the spice worse with water? You said, or is it about the same amount of spice and heat when you drink it? It's not worse. I would say it, it kind of mutes some of the other flavors. So okay, the, the, okay. The, the the oak and the like the caramel butterscotchiness is muted a bit when adding okay. water. Okay. Um, 
Uh, Donnie says he's a spice sound. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's still just as spicy, but I think you you were better off because you like those dark dark oak notes. Yeah, I'm more of an oak guy. I'm more of a sweet guy. It's got to be a good balance between both. You guys are making me weep. Brian, I'm sorry. Oh, it's because I added water. Brian, again, it's it's droplets. <laughs> droplets. It's him, Brian. He's making you cry. I'm drinking it straight, so... I tried it both ways. He's doing it for science, though, Brian, okay? He's doing it for science. Hey, who's the whiskey YouTuber here? <laughs> who's doing it for you guys? I see how it is. I mean, oh, okay. <laughs> Brian's with me, yes. Ryan Bredeke. <laughs> okay. Okay, how about this, though? The oh, Booker's man. Okay, let you me defend myself. You guys are great. Hold on, hold on. Booker's 25th. Oh, man. People weren't used to high-proof whiskey back in 2014. I don't know. I assume. I, I don't know. Talk to the guys that have been around for a while. Like, Brian Brennick, he's been a bourbon okay. guy for a while. Screw Brian Allred, right. Donnie. Uh-huh. Those guys have been around for a while. Um, when they're almost drunk, they look outside and realize the sun is still up. Oh, it's only 4 o'clock here. <laughs> yeah, we, we, got we, we got a while before the sun goes down, so. we got to sober up a bit. We're going to get dinner and stuff, so. Donnie's the man. Brandon's right. here tonight. Thank you, Donnie. I appreciate that, bud. Well, maybe appreciate I should that. have shared. Maybe I should have Cheers, kept Donnie. <laughs> Man, I'm so glad this ended this up, being as, ended up being as good as I wanted it to Yes, be. yes, I agree. I mean, obviously, if you guys, even even go to a bar, see if you can get it for a decent price. I know I tried Booker's 30th once, mm-hmm. probably about a year ago. You I tried a bar. When. How much was I it? I tried a bar. It was it was overpriced. I don't even want to tell you how much it was. It was overpriced. Tell us because but they can probably relate because they will probably only see it at bars. I think you have to double check at the wipe. I think it was like 40 or $50 for two ounces. For two ounces. Honestly, that's so, not that bad. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's also I paid 20, $20 for one ounce of um, Eagle Rare from last year. Uh, Eagle Rare, uh, BTAC, not, oh, not yeah, Eagle Rare. Yeah, you were 17. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that that was pricey for me, but I think it was worth it to, just to try it. Yeah. Um, that, that was the same thing with me, because like, like I said, I've only seen a store once, and they want 800 I'm like, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Not unless I'm in the lottery, so. Brian's on my side, though. Um, regular Booker is, with, is good with an ice cube, I admit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, I agree. Maybe with you. later we'll try it, and I'll take a sip out of his and see, because I'm not going to waste good bookers and with an ice cube. So <laughs> sorry. Well, we'll do that in the after party. So we have about uh, I don't know ten-ish minutes. Yeah, or we'll, so, we'll, we'll say five more minutes here. If you guys have any questions, any thoughts, um, any, any more I, super chats, for any Katie's ideas shows? on what you guys want to see in future streams? You want to see us together? You want to kick me out? You know, just you know, this lovely Clifton over here. You know. <laughs> Y'all just wanted to like live here, like be here every every Thursday for the stream, yep, basically. Every Thursday, I'll come on over. That's fine. It's, no, that's only an hour drive. You know, it's more than an hour, right? No, he said it was. Like, oh, really? Well, with no traffic. With no traffic, right? yeah, with traffic, yeah. it'll take freaking forever. But yeah. And then for all you people on the East Coast, where you talk with Miles, it's about fifty-five miles or fifty miles. I think <laughs> that's true. We don't talk about that. We here. talk by time because you could take you an hour to go ten miles. So. LA is ridiculous. Um, but yeah. What, so for those of you, like I said, I'm going to end here five minutes, but I we will be doing an after party. Yeah. And um, like I said, you don't have to, but if you would like to join the Patreon, the link is down in the description below. Um, after party is, you know what? I think we might open it up to the $5 people today. This is you a special, this is, yes, a, this is a Saturday night stream. This is not my let's normal do it. stream. It's special, not normal, so, so fun. If you are able to join Patreon at the $5 level or more, you are invited to our after party. We're going to hang out. Drink some more bookers. Not any, no more bookers. No more. We're done. Those are those samples are saved. Those are spoken for. So, but I have some granny's batch. I have some country ham. I have some beaten biscuits. We can do the blend. Um, yep. that they were talking so about. So we can do it for live for you guys and see um, where you know first thoughts are. Yeah, and by the way, that, that's a Google Hangout, so y'all can be chatting with us. It's not like a stream. So mm-hmm. if y'all are curious and you want to do it, I'll give y'all. So I'll we'll end this here in five minutes, and then I'll give y'all an additional five minutes to get your um, Patreon. Um, what is it called? It's not subscriptions. It's um. Patreon um, votes? Whatever. I don't know what you're talking about, man. You're a Cliffy's here, everyone. I'm sorry. sorry. No, you're not sorry. You're excited. I know. I'm excited that Cliffy's here. Thank you, Donnie, for sending the link. Like I said, $5 or more um, per month. By the way, I'm not just asking for that. It's It actually is super helpful for the channel. Um, I, I'm so grateful for everyone that's already contributed. It's helped me because, I mean, I, I was talking to Brandon earlier. StreamYard, when I have guests on, that's $25 a month. And I actually canceled it because I was like, oh, that's too expensive to continue. But now I'm like, <clears throat> now that I have the Patreon and you guys supporting me, I'm able to like re restart that. Mm-hmm. So that that's Is that why the word I, you're looking for. Pledge. <laughs> thank you, Donnie C. I didn't know what he wanted, so I couldn't give him a word. But <laughs> yes, but no. So I, I just want to say thanks for the Patreon. It's not just about like, oh, give me money. It's more about like this will really help me improve the channel. I mean, mm-hmm. I hope you guys like when I have guests on. I mean, you watched last week when I had um, Jason it's, and Bill. It's on. always a good time to have guests. You know, kind of mix it up a little bit, something different. You know. Yeah. Um, I heard that it's Surf Cliffy's cast strength. I'm like, what? <laughs> what is Surf City cast strength? I actually have never heard of that. Um, 
By the way, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Co- Cohen? Cohen. Cohen. That's how I'd yeah. say it, Cohen. Yeah. Or Co. And then and <laughs> Nick oh, Falls is saying Cliffy. Yeah, because Cliffy's here, Nick. Yeah. I do have a little bit of the Granny's Batch left, so. You know, I'm sad. I don't want to finish my oh, That is so yet. peanut. Just smell it. It's peanut brittle. It's like I know. That's really. Well, it's, it reminds me of like Dickle 13. Like, first thing when you say, what's the nose on Dickle 13? Bottom line. 90 people say. I say Flintstones. There I'm you sorry. go. Everyone <laughs> says Flintstones. So, same thing. Excuse well, but me, you're, not saying, you're not saying this is Flintstone. This is, no, this is no, this is. But the um, it's peanut brittle. You hear, yeah. After you hear but that, everyone who's just saying, yeah, Granny's batch, yeah, peanut brittle. Oh, it's no. the nuttiest Booker's I've ever had, and I love it. <laughs> my sample broke on. You may or may not lose a few samples before this night is over. Wait, who, oh, you me? Oh, 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 you, oh, I may what? slip some of these into my box when hey, I leave. And hey. <laughs> so the reason I'm holding on, I have, I'll show y'all. I have half an ounce left of each of these. So the reason I'm holding on is because I'm holding out hope that there will be a Booker's Rye Batch 2 coming soon. I don't actually know. But if there you ever is, anything, but you never know how many people are going to be able to compare it to Booker's the OG. Rye 1? That's what I'm saying. So that's the whole reason I'm holding on to it. Just in case there's a Booker's Rye Batch 2, or yeah. a Booker's 35th, or a Booker's mm, 40th. Okay. So that's my idea. Yeah, so Surf City Spirits. So, Cohen, once that reopens, I'm actually from Huntington Beach, and I'm actually going to go to that distillery, so I'll let you know, Clifton, how it is. Yeah. I'm going to give you some notes, because I actually want to go and do a tasting myself and see before I purchase a bottle. So they're doing, like, whiskey and stuff? They do whiskey, I think, and then also obviously vodka. Yeah. Well, They're I think right, most, yeah, most craft distillers so. start with vodka and gin, mm-hmm. but then once they age their product, they actually... And they can, yeah, whiskey. exactly. So I'll definitely, I'll let you know, I'll let you know what I'm going and we'll figure it out. Okay, Brian Allred, that's, we'll end off with some Little Book 3. I'll do it real quick, because I know a lot of y'all want to watch ADHD Whiskey's stream, including me. Mm-hmm. Lil, just in time, don't worry, you can make the after party. Yeah, Lil. Lil Chris and Lil are, and Brian Brennicke, and Donnie... Honestly, a lot of people here are um, bourbon megabytes, which is what I call my ten dollars patrons. Mm. Um, megabytes, you go. Yeah. So oh, they call some HB too. Hell yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they will be at that party. But like I said, I'm opening up to y'all tonight. If you're five dollars or more, y'all can all join us tonight. So there you go. All right. So here's the little book three. Do you have a glass? Oh, you're good. I'm going to finish up my Granny's Batch. I got too many other things I want to try yours before the night's <laughs> over. So He's this pacing is, himself. This yeah. is not going to end well if I get over on this stuff. Don't worry. It's all high proof. So. His wife is here. To After party, him. guys, you really need to join us because it's totally worth it. Welcome, Heather. Oh, do you know Lil? Oh, you're not, you're not Patrick's Heather. I was like, I, I don't like, think that's that Heather. Lil! What's up, Lil? Bourbon Bounty. Cheers. Oh, everyone's popping in right at the end. Well, I know. If After you guys party. missed this... If you want to hear our thoughts on the Booker's 25th, 30th, and Rye, watch the replay. And if you're watching the replay, hey, what's up? Uh, comment hashtag replay squad if you're watching the replay. <laughs> there know. you go. Start something new. Why not? Sure, why not? Let us know your thoughts if you've had Booker's 30th or 25th or the Rye, you know? Or if you know a good place to get at that bar, if they still sell it. Because I want to say that that bar in San Diego probably has Booker's Rye. Are you talking about um, Whiskey House? Yeah, Whiskey House. It's I'm funny. sure they do, but I don't know what it is. It's funny. But... Both Bill and um, Jason were talking about Whiskey House last yeah, night. Because that's I was... where I met Jason. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you both him. Francesca and I met him down was there. Was it a meetup? Or like, what no, he was, he, was in, he was in town for business, and me and my wife were down there for celebrating, I think, my birthday. We were there for some reason, yeah. and we just happened to be like, hey, dude, I'll be here. Let's meet up for a drink. Oh, that's awesome. So, Man. I'm so excited to meet those people eventually, whether it's at like the Bastards Ball or something. But oh, yeah. Or yeah, Vegas, awesome. wink, wink. Everyone's in Vegas. Lil, Southern Australia's open. Well. You can leave. <laughs> no, Chris and Lil, unfortunately, <laughs> can't make it this year, which... Uh, if, even though they can't make it, they are taking off of work, so we will do a massive Google Hangout or Zoom or whatever. Something, we'll figure it in out. In Vegas, everyone there, we are going to chat and we're going to drink with you all. We'll figure so. it out. Yeah, don't you worry. We'll figure it out. We're going to make it special. Dude, peanut brittle, man. That's I was like, I don't get that, but I'm like, I want something different. Yeah, you're uh, on Little Book 3, dude. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to review that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was just drinking it. I'm like, I'm just drinking it. Little Book 3. So when I first reviewed it, I think I said that it was everything I looked for in a Booker's. However, tonight, I had the best example of Booker's, which I think was Booker's 30th. I think it, it, it's the epitome of what I wanted yes, Booker's to be. Yes. This is a little dry. It's very oak forward. Um, if you love that oak, like with the Knob Creek pick, the you will like the Little Book 3. Um, if y'all don't know, Little Book 3, I put it away. Hold on. Got it, Coach. Yeah, I just want to read a little bit. So it is a blend of nine-year Basil Hayden, nine-year Knob Creek, 11-year Bookers, and 12-year Bakers. So it's kind of like a, a sum of all the small batches at, at Gem Beam. For $80, yes. I recommend it just as much as a Booker's. I think it's a limited edition. It, it's 
only once a year. You know, if you have the funds, I think it's it's worth picking up. Do I think it's like the most amazing thing? Would I pay one thirty for it? No, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I would. No, because I've had a sample of that from you, and yeah, it's good for eighty. I consider it to me, it's almost like a Booker's, but with something a little different on it, you know, a little spin on it. So, and the Booker's price range is about right, but. Cohen it. says, you guys are pros to be able to drink that much cash. <laughs> that would be on the floor. Oh, don't worry. Come, to the, come to the after party, man. <laughs> I'm going to get clipped into a bottle chug. So six seconds, too. Yeah. All right. Really well, good times. thank you, Brandon, for being on tonight. Thank you very much, sir. Um, I appreciate you sharing. I'm glad to finally share these with you. We, Like I said, we've been holding out on these for a while. And we've got more surprises and secrets if for the after party, guys. We've got some bottles, uh, higher-end bottles that we can uh, share if you'd yeah, like. I need to hire you so. as my, like... Why are you a like PR person, man? <laughs> hey, um, I'm trying to spread the word, so come on out now, guys. Let us yeah. know. Well, so like I said, you guys have like five minutes ish um, to become a Patreon. If you again, if you can't, I totally understand. Now is not you know the best time to be asking. Um, this is just more for fun, just for us, just to hang out. Um, so if you're interested, uh, the link is in the bio. I think Donnie posted the link earlier. Posted, so, yeah. so Donnie, if you have the link, if you want to send it again for to wrap us off here, wrap us off what. This guy. See, guys, you really need to come to this after party. It's Apparently. Be great. <laughs> All right. Well, cheers, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on a Saturday um, afternoon or night, depending on your time yeah. zone. And um, we will see y'all soon. Hey, cheers, guys. Cheers. And have a wonderful weekend. And don't forget to check out ADHD Whiskey's stream. Um, we are so excited to watch that. So, cheers. And we will see you guys.